What is up YouTube? I am Eric and you are watching Retro Video Game Pickups. In this video, we are talking about the most recent games that I am playing on my Nintendo Switch. So if you like games, consoles, or product reviews, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification. With that being said, let's hop into it. Okay, so I wanted to kind of change things up a little bit. It's It's been very hard. We haven't been going out. I haven't been game hunting, but I have been playing a little bit more of video games. So what I wanted to do in this video is take some time and kind of relax a little bit. Talk about the games that I have been having fun with and been playing on my Nintendo Switch. Now I've been playing a ton of different consoles and really honestly I've been having so much fun with all of that. But the Nintendo Switch is popping right now. Everyone wants one if they don't have one, and people are definitely well interested in the system itself because of the whole coronavirus thing. So what I'm gonna do today is kinda step through all the games that I have been playing on the Nintendo Switch. They are all both digital, physical, and even some are from the NES Online Collection, which is the Switch Online, which if you don't have that, it is 20 bucks a month, so you might as well. Uh, go ahead and get it. Uh, not a month, a, a year. It's 20 bucks a year. So, also in this video, I will be talking about one game that I will be giving away to you guys. I have a giveaway for that, and when I get to that game, I'll talk about it. But you should stick around, watch all of them, because all of these games are very fun, and I have so much fun playing them myself. So, with that being said, let's check out the first game. Okay, so this first game is actually going to be one that I've talked about plenty on this channel, and you guys probably know about it. I've talked about it in a few of the recent videos as well, and that is Splatoon 2. Now, I have been playing Splatoon 2 since it came out on the Nintendo Switch, and I even picked up Splatoon on the Wii U and played that incredibly a lot. So, I wanted to talk about this just simply to talk to you about it a little bit. You probably know enough about Splatoon 2, but it's so much fun. Now, I love this game because it was Nintendo's take on a shooter. Now, shooters were crazy big whenever Splatoon 2 came out and Splatoon 1 as well. Um, it was against kind of those games like Call of Duty or something like that. Maybe like against a Fortnite or something of the first person shooter view. So this one is awesome because it takes that aspect of it and removes all the blood, all the gore, and basically you're just shooting paint at people until you splat them and then they respawn. So this is perfect game for kids. It's E10, which means 10 and older. Um, for cartoon violence, I'm looking at the back and that's kind of funny, but this game is very awesome. It's so much fun and honestly, even if you're an adult and you can play those shooter games, those games are kind of uh, okay, they're lackluster to me, but this game is so much fun. I love the vibrant colors, I love the music, I love the control scheme, I love everything about this. Now when I say control scheme, I do not mean motion, don't play with motion if you have this. Get through the tutorial and turn it off you'll be much more happy there but this is a game where you go around splatting characters you have so much fun and i love it and i still come back to this game to play on as an online multiplayer day in and day out i could sit back relax have some fun with this and not worry with it now i recently started playing this on my nintendo switch Lite, which means i had to restart it which is okay I have my normal switch and it has that save on it but this one I started from the beginning and honestly I miss it I've had so much fun with this and so I am super glad that this is on this list because I've been having so much fun with it okay so I've got my Nintendo switch Lite here uh, for s some reason this thing is like the perfect size to just slide in my pocket I've been wearing athletic shorts because I haven't been going out and literally this thing just fits right in my pocket and I have no problem with it so it's totally awesome so uh, for this game we are talking about a digital game and that's why I brought out the switch Lite because well I don't have anything to show for you so this is going to be Pokemon quest now this is an absolutely free game so if you have a Nintendo switch 
or even I think this is actually out on the mobile platform as well so if you have a phone you can get it on there for free as well I believe um, but for sure on the Nintendo Switch this game is a hundred percent free and I've actually got back into playing it again like what I said with the Splatoon 2 uh, is the same for Pokemon Quest for me um, I've been playing this on my Switch Lite which means I restarted it which means I'm going back and having all that fun again so I wanted to kind of dig deep back into this game because I recently watched Detective Pikachu and honestly I waited way too long to see that but I had so much fun watching it I was like I need to be playing some kind of Pokemon game. I've actually been playing Pokemon Go again uh, just kind of at my house uh, it, yeah it's a little difficult but you know what I'm saying. But Pokemon Quest is so much fun I love how they took the Pokemon and pixelated them made them made that pixelated twist because like you you know how it looked like when Pokemon Red or Pokemon Blue or something like that when it was way back but this pixelation character cartoons are different and that's awesome I love the way that they look and how different it is so I wanted to talk about that just because this is a simple game it doesn't get too hard and you can play it for free so if you have a Nintendo Switch and you don't really have that much money Get Pokemon Quest. It's free. You can't go wrong. If you don't like it, just uninstall it. Literally, it's that easy. So that's why that is one of the games I wanted to talk about in this list. Okay, so this third game is going to be a little bit of a different one. And I'm going to explain that a little bit. And here's why. Now, first off, when I say it's a little bit different, I mean it's an actual NES game. It didn't come to the Nintendo Switch. Well, it did, but it wasn't first given out on the Nintendo Switch. It was actually an NES game. And what does that kind of mean? Well, the Nintendo Switch has a Switch Online, which is 20 bucks a year, not a month like I said earlier in the video, uh, but it is 20 bucks a year, and honestly, it unlocks so much. I think it's worth it. A lot of people complain about th these things or that. I don't care about that stuff. I care about buying or getting the games to be able to play and being able to play online. Like those are the two main things and reasons I have it to be honest. But this is a game that was on the Nintendo's entertainment system, the NES Online, which is a uh, Eliminator Boat Duel. Now I have never played this game and I don't have it in the collection. So that means I didn't have a, I'd never played it, I'd never seen it. And recently, this past week, they updated the Switch Online and they gave you some more games, both on the NES and the SNES. And this was one of the ones for the NES. And so I was like, all right, cool, let's sit back and play this. And honestly, I had a lot of fun with it. It's got some cool aspects of it. It'll start off where you're looking at a side view of the boat, then it'll change to a top down, then it'll change to another view of the boat, like from behind watching it go. It's, it's fun. I like this game because it took kind of what you had with the NES and gave you something fun to play with it. Now I know there are a ton of good games on the NES and I'm not knocking the NES right here, but I actually enjoyed this game. It was fun to play and I had never played it before. So anytime I can find a new NES game that I haven't played before, I'm definitely gonna have fun with it. So whenever I find a game like this that is actually enjoyable and not complete garbage, I'm very happy. So that is why it made it on this list. It's a little bit unconditional, but I have been playing it on my Switch Lite, so it made it on this list. Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. That's the next game. Honestly, I've been playing this for a while now. You guys have heard me talk about it, I think once or twice on the channel already, but I've kind of been playing it in portions. I haven't just sat down and played it all. I've been playing it for a little bit, then playing another game, then coming back to it. It's kind of a weird thing to kind of go back and forth to it, but I've been doing it and I've been having fun. So I wanted to talk about this just a little bit because honestly, I love this game. I love all these old Star Wars games. It brings back that nostalgia factor from when I was a kid playing these games. Back when I played it on the PC or when I played it on the Xbox original or the PS2 or any of that stuff. I love going back and playing these Star Wars games because I love kind of going back and thinking about when I played these when I was younger and how much fun I had with them and how some of my friends that I played with like back in high school, we still like these things now and so it's totally awesome to think about 
Um, and that's kind of why this game is on this list. It's a very fun game. It's a good shooter if you want it to be. It doesn't have to be a shooter. You can walk around slashing people with your lightsaber. It just depends on how you want to play it. And I think that is what makes this game very fun. I love the aspect of Star Wars and you guys know anytime we get a cool Star Wars game and especially like a, a Switch game that you can take on the go, that's totally well worth it to me. You guys know I love the Switch games and I love being able to take them anywhere and that is why I have my Switch Lite because it fits in my pocket and I can walk around in the house, I can leave with it, all that stuff. So I wanted to talk about Star Wars. Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, just because I've had fun with it and I wanted you guys to know about it. Now, I believe it's about $20 on the eShop. It's a digital only game, unless I think uh, Limited Run did a production of them. I don't know about that. I didn't buy one, but I did have fun with this game. So if you're interested in it, check it out on the eShop. You can get it today for 20 bucks, I believe. Okay, we're down to our very last game, and this game is a very fun game. It's very simple. But it can be very difficult, but overall I enjoyed it. And now this is a game that I picked up to play, and honestly I wanted to talk about it a little bit. And that is Lonely Mountain Downhill. Now if you guys know, and you watched all the way here, you guys know I am giving a giveaway. Now I am giving a code away for a digital copy of this game. I'll pop a picture up right here on the screen. Go check out my Instagram, like that post, and comment down below you came from YouTube and you will be entered in to to get the game for free now it is a very fun game but it is very simple now if you played Excite Bike 64 you probably knew that there was a downhill version of that game or a mode I guess it's uh, basically you just got to get to the bottom of the hill without crashing and that's what this game is this game has taken that aspect from that game and basically given you exactly what you want it's got good graphics, however they're really cartoony, they're really basic, but they look really good. And it's also a fun game. Now I wanted to talk about it just because it's one of those games I sat down not really knowing what I was going to do, um, just kind of whatever, you know. And I played it and I was like, this is really fun. And my wife was watching it when I played and she was like, you should keep playing this. This is a really fun game. And I'm like, yeah, it is. And so we just kind of sat there and I played it. Uh, I just kept crashing. I, I, I literally was doing this one mountain like over and over and over. I'd get like right to this point and I'd just crash. And then I'd have to do it over and then over. And I don't know what it is about that, but I wanted to keep playing it. And so I wanted to show that, share that with you guys. Now I am giving that giveaway away, the code for that game. Now it is currently two days before Memorial Day. Um, and I wanted to give it away to you guys. So that post that I po posted that picture uh, on my Instagram, down below there'll be a link directly to that Instagram post. Go ahead and go over there, like it, and comment to say, hey, I'm from YouTube, and then you will be entered into the giveaway. You do not have to follow me. You do not have to subscribe here. Just go over to that post and, and like it and let me know that you saw this, um, and you will be entered in. Now, in two days, that's 48 hours, this video is going live at 6 p.m. Central Time, and so on a Saturday and then two days later on Monday, the Memorial Day at 6 p.m., I will announce who won. Now, I will reach out to them. If they have an Instagram, I will reach out to them and say, hey, go ahead and uh, here's the code. So I want to say thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Head over to that Instagram post because that lets you uh, have the opportunity to be uh, entered in that giveaway. But I want to say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. That way you know when I post more videos, which is every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And honestly, guys, we're stuck at home. We want to play video games. So go ahead and try to win that video game. Also, I want to say thank you so much for watching. Be safe. Stay at home. Wash your hands. Practice social distancing. Stay six feet away from each other. And overall, just keep you and your family safe. One last time, thank you so much, and make sure you have a good day.